Uh, two medical milestones marked at the University of Louisville Jewish Hospital. Surgeons performed the second successful transplant of a total artificial heart last month. But exactly one week ago, they performed the world's first total artificial heart transplant in a woman. Uh, the artificial heart device is one of a kind. It's designed to help patients suffering from heart failure by replacing both ventricles that pump blood to the main chamber of the heart, and it also replaces that main chamber. Uh, the device also has pressure sensors that determines how much blood the heart needs. But the surgeons say the procedure is just one step in the patient's journey. The patient then spends days in the ICU and is looked after by intensivists, nurse practitioners, and nurses in the ICU. And again, I'd like to take a moment to thank uh, and call out our uh, exceptional and brilliant nurse practitioners, nurses, and intensivists who've taken care of these patients day in, day in, and day out. We at UFL Health, the Jewish Hospital, are blessed to have an exceptional team of intensivists, nurse practitioners, and nurses who look after these patients all day, all night, 24-7 here, and they, they make uh, even the most complicated surgeries go smoothly. Uh, health officials with U of L Jewish Hospital say that they hope to have even more of these procedures in the near future. Over the years, the University of Louisville Jewish Hospital has performed over 500 heart transplants, the first one happening in 1984. It was also the first to happen in the state of Kentucky.